Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my channel. Someone asked on my channel yesterday how they could use search operators to find specific keywords in a specific niche. So I'm gonna use Etsy as an example. So siteetsy.com and then inside. So I'm gonna say my coffee, uh, my niche is coffee. What you wanna do is you wanna make like some kind of word. So I've put coffee and, okay? Because I want to see things that are like coffee and something else. So coffee and sunshine, for example coffee and tea uh, and then I found this really really good niche here which is runs on coffee so what we can actually do is we can take runs on coffee and we can put it into the search operator as you can see runs on iced coffee runs on coffee Jesus home runs on coffee runs on coffee this mum runs on coffee Mum, mama runs on coffee runs on coffee etc my spoon broomstick runs I don't know why you get the point guys um there is a huge amount of niches just for this uh runs on coffee niche that i found in just a few minutes so let's put back uh, let's put title uh, in title coffee again and we'll have a little look what else comes up i forgot to put coffee and the reason we put and is because it prompts google to give us uh, niches like this Kind of a weird niche right there. That's a good keyword. That's a very good keyword. Good keyword, good keyword. Coffee and editing, that's a really good keyword. Coffee and cardio. We could, so touch my coffee is another really, really good example. So let's put touch my coffee here. 8,380 potential keywords. Uh, a lot of these are products, so can we rem maybe remove um, by putting, so let's remove products by putting market minus listing, that should work. It does indeed work. Don't touch my mug, that's a great niche. Two, only 230 results, really? That's really, really good. That's really, really good. Um, don't touch my food, that'd be a good sticker, etc, etc. So the idea here is that we can replace the word coffee in the original search operator with any niche. So football and, for example, football and wine. And then you just take each one and you put it here. Football and wine. And then you scroll through, you see how many results there are. If you only want to see search result pages, like I said before, you can do in URL market minus listing. Interesting, 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 interesting. So yeah, this is basically how I like to find my niches. But there is another part of this if you want. So let's do coffee. Uh, runs on coffee and then in URL market minus listing okay so we've got 977 potential keywords uh, it looks like a lot of them are actually just repeat keywords using Australia Canada etc etc but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on scale SERP I always click on their advert even though I really shouldn't that's actually one of their competitors there we go. The battle on Google Ads is really, really interesting to me. Who's going to win the battle on Google Ads this time? Okay, so we're going to use this tool to basically do what I was just doing, but um, a more automated kind of thing. So I always put it on custom. I put the minimum time on a few years ago, and I put the maximum time on today. Page one, number of results 100, obviously. Output format CSV, choose the CSV fields, select none, title only, okay. And we will send API request here. And then as you can see, the output is just a load of keywords that you can check. It's Christian t-shirt, this girl runs on cupcakes and Jesus. Interesting. Amazon first result as usual. Uh, let's have a look where Etsy is. It's quite low down, actually, surprisingly low down. Only one sale. Uh, this actually seems to be a book, which I wasn't expecting. I th 
thought it was Bible verse notebook for Christians. One interesting niche. It's pretty cool. But yeah, interesting. Uh, that's how I like to find my niches. You just replace the word coffee with whatever your niche is. So they actually asked me specifically for Islamic sayings. So site etsy.com in title Islamic sayings and then in URL market minus listing. We have 3,820 results that have Islamic saying in the title and you can feel free to read through these yourselves and try to find uh, something interesting. But yeah, this works really, really well and it lets you niche down very, very nicely. If you're looking for something a bit more specific, like if you're looking for like specific uh, sayings, you will have to write uh, them here. So for example, I'll give you an example from my store. I am doing Italian and so I would do, for example, in title and then this, I don't think I can read that word out because it's not a very good word. It's not a good word. But this is how I would find my keywords because I know that this is a word that is often associated with designs in Italian. And if you want to do Islamic sayings, then I'm sure you know, um, interesting, I'm sure you know Islamic, so you can write in title and then you can put common Islamic words uh, in English, I guess. I don't really know how that would work. But as I'm scrolling through now, I can see many, many examples of great keywords for my store, like this, for example. This is a really good keyword. So, yeah, definitely check this out for yourselves, guys, if you're looking for specific keywords. And hope this helps. And I'll see you soon with some more content. Peace out.